Grade 8 Math Number 3.1a, Proportional Relationships with Tables. Now we studied proportions in 7th grade, and if you remember, a proportion is an equation that states two ratios are equivalent. A ratio is a comparison of two quantities using a quotient. Equivalent ratios, well those are ratios that name the same comparison. And a constant, that's a value that doesn't change. A rate is a ratio that compares two quantities that are measured in different units, like miles per hour or gallons per minute. And a unit rate, well, that's the second quantity in a compared rate that's only one unit, like miles in one hour instead of miles per hour. Now, if you're really confused about proportions, my advice is to go back to the Grade 7 Math playlist and check out videos 4.1, 4.2, and 4.3. That'll bring you up to speed, and you'll be able to continue on where we're at now. So we can use a table to show the relationships of proportions. We've been using these tables as far back as third grade. Cookies versus children, if five cookies is to one child, we could fill this table out using that ratio, that proportion. We can also see that there's a pattern going on here, isn't there, in both of these. We can easily see the empty box should be a five. See, one, two, three, four, five. The proportional relationship is five to one, or five over one as a fraction, each child gets five cookies. We can use division. Looking at this figure right here, we've got 20 over 4 should be equal to 25 over something. So 20 divided by 4 is 5, so 25 divided by something is 5. That would be a 5. Between the pattern and using the division, we can see how it would fit, right? We can also use multiplication by cross-multiplying. 20 over 4 is equal to 25 over something. What we do is we come down and across, and we go up and across. 4 times 25 equals 100, so coming down, 20 times something should equal 100. Now we don't go straight across, we go make an X, like a cross, see? That's why it's called cross multiplying, we're making an X. So 20 times 5 equals 100, we can see a 5 goes there. So we've got division, pattern, multiplying by doing cross-multiplication. Well, the Homestead Acts of 1862 distributed millions of acres of land to adults who had never taken up arms against the United States. In all, more than 270 million acres of public land was given away free to approximately 1.6 million homesteaders. And they didn't have it easy. There was no plumbing. There was no electricity. They were living in sod houses out in the middle of nowhere with no neighbors. You can see the Homestead Acts on Wikipedia to read more about it. It's really interesting. So how much land is one acre? How much land is in 40 acres? Well, one acre is approximately eight city blocks. Now, this isn't exact. These are just approximate numbers, okay? Well, with this, the table shows approximately one acre equals eight city blocks, so the ratio is one to eight, or eight, one eighth. And we can finish this table using that proportion. If 1 is to 8, then 2 is to 16. See? We're just multiplying the 2 times 8. 1 times 8 is 8. 2 times 8 is 16. 10 times 8 is 80. 40 times 8 is 320. See? Now can you imagine having 40 acres? That's 320 city blocks and having to plant the crops and harvest them? That would be a lot of hard work. I give those people back then a lot of credit for the hard work they did. And even nowadays, farmers that are farming and they've got well over 40 acres, okay? If we know the distance between acres, how can we find the distance in city blocks? Well, we use that proportional relationship of 1 to 8 and we'll multiply the number of acres by 8. If we know the distance in city blocks, how can we find the distance in acres? Again, we use that proportional relationship of 1 to 8 and we'll divide the number of city blocks by 8. So knowing that it's 1 to 8, we can actually finish this table. If 2 acres is 16 blocks, then 3 would be what? It would be 3 times 8. It would be 24 city blocks, wouldn't it? And if 4 acres needs to be multiplied by 8, we'd be able to tell how many city blocks it is. 4 times 8 is 32. That'd be 32 city blocks, wouldn't it? We can see from the pattern what is supposed to go here next. 2, 3, 4. That would be a 5. That's a 6. That's a 7. 6 times 8 is 48, and we can complete the table using multiplication or division, see? Because we happen to know the proportional relationship here, see? Now I have a 
video I made in its measurement number 20 in my measurement playlist. And it talks about acres. It tells about the history of the acre and going back to the Middle Ages, why they said this much is an acre and how much is in a square mile. And that's interesting too. You might want to check out my measurement number 20 video in my measurement playlist. Okay, we're going to continue talking about proportions. And now we're going to talk about equations with proportional relationships. Don't forget I'm on Twitter and I can post any of these whiteboards to help you study so that you can print them or save them to a file. And don't forget I'm on Patreon.com. I could use that monthly support for my ad-free videos. I'll see you next one. Bye.